being a mother is one of the hardest jobs any woman will ever have. But when you are a single mother, the job becomes even harder. WND's Meredith Hackler joins us now with how one group in Springfield is empowering and mentoring single mothers towards a successful future. Meredith. Megan, the group Wouldn't It Be Lovely has been helping women struggling with poverty since March of this year. The group was started by one of the pastors at Douglas Avenue Methodist Church. Each woman's story is different, much like the pieces of furniture that they make. Angel, like many single mothers, have a difficult time finding work while also providing a life for their child. I didn't have anybody really push me. And all the girls in the program was like, you can do it, go back to school. Um, you're really smart, you have a lot of potential to make it, and that just made me strive to do better. Wouldn't it be lovely help single mothers like Angel? So we hire them, we surround them with community and volunteers to mentor them and support them and lift them up until they're ready to um, find um, full-time employment. Get back on their feet. It takes hard work and dedication to make it in the world and compassion. You have to have that set of you know, goals if you want to make it. Rehabilitating lives and refurbishing furniture each woman involved with their own set of goals. We all have similar stories, we share them, and the love that we have for each other is like a sisterhood. That sense of sisterhood is shared through their work of restoring old furniture that is donated by the community. Every piece is a problem that I say. So if we have a problem that went bad in a day, we come and we paint, and it's like letting go of the problems. The organization has been a part of the church's mission since March, a service they are hopeful will continue. It's all contingent on how um, the furniture keeps coming in, if we continue to have customers, and um, free paint. Showing just how valuable each of these women are. The women that we have hired that often society shuns or pushes away, um, that they are amazing women and they have such skills and talents that we can all learn from. Restoring hope in their lives by giving them a second chance every day. Wouldn't It Be Lovely is always looking for donations of furniture, paint, or anything anyone is able to provide. If you're interested in donating, you can visit our website, WANDTV.com, for more information. The group is hoping to hold its next furniture sale in March. Meredith Hackler, WAND News. Megan.